Hi, welcome to Zoho Books, an online accounting application that takes care of the accounting needs of your business. Zoho Books is a cloud-based accounting software in which you can record, audit, and analyze all financial transactions easily. With secure data storage, easy navigation, and customizable features, Zoho Books provides a head start in accounting for your business. So, let's start by creating a new organization. Already have a Zoho account? You can sign into Zoho Books by selecting the Access Zoho Books option here. Instead of the sign in and sign up button, you will find an Access Zoho Books option. Or, if you are a new user, click on the sign up option. The sign up form need to be filled with your company name, your name, email address, contact number, password for your account, and select your country from the drop down. As soon as you sign up for Zoho Books, you will be directed to a quick setup page. This is to instantly set up your account so you can start accounting for your business as quickly as possible. Here you can set up the organization details. Zoho Books start date is the date on which you would like to start tracking accounts for your business. Select the options for the fields like industry and how you handle accounting for your business from the drop downs. Enter a portal name. This is a separate workspace or a separate portal created for your company where your customers can log in and view their estimates and also pay for the invoices which you send to them. Enter the address of your company and select save and continue. Here you can select the various modules for your business such as sales orders, purchase orders, retainer invoices, etc. In this section you can add tax information for your business. Enter the tax name corresponding tax rates for your business. You can also add more taxes if applicable. You can configure the online payment gateway to receive online payments for your invoices. Click on the setup now button placed right next to the PayPal to configure. Initially, when you sign up for Zoho Books, you get a 14-day free trial to experience the features and functionalities of Zoho Books. Let's start by adding your chart of accounts. Go to Accountant tab and here you will find the predefined list of accounts. To add a new one, click on this plus new account button and type in the account name followed by the account code and choose the account type. Enter the description based on your requirement and simply hit save to add a new account. If you have a list of accounts with you and you want to import them directly to Zoho Books, click on this gear icon and click on import chart of accounts. Choose the file, we support CSV and TSV format and you can download the sample file here and use the sample file as reference and align your data accordingly and import your chart of accounts. Once your chart of account list is set, you can click on this gear icon and click on more settings and let's configure your opening balances. Here you can select the opening balance date and enter the debits and credits corresponding to each and every account. If the debits and credits does not match, opening balance adjustment will be posted. You can click continue and confirm it. Once done, your opening balance is set and you can start using Zoho Books with an ease. That said, you can configure all your settings, organization settings, tax settings, template settings and all those inside the settings tab. Let's go ahead and add a list of contacts. So here inside the contact section, you can manage your list of contacts, which means customers and vendors. You can also import from Zoho CRM. Zoho CRM is a customer relationship management tool from Zoho. If you own a Zoho CRM account and if you want to fetch all the details from Zoho CRM, you can also do that. For now, I'm going to create a new contact. I can click on this plus button or the plus new button to create new contact. I can fill in the details. I can choose the contact type, either a customer or a vendor. And scroll down and choose the customer's currency. Your customer might live anywhere across the world. Imagine if he lives in Australia, then you can choose Australian dollars. And whenever you create an invoice for this Australian client, the invoice will be displaying the amount in Australian dollars. You can enter your customer's address. Custom fields can be configured under settings. And notes for personal use. And hit save once you entered everything. If you have a list of customers and if you want to import them, you can click on this 
three line button three line sandwich icon and click on import customers and click continue again choose the file and please download the sample file and align your data according to the sample file and import your list of contacts in a similar fashion to add a new vendor you can click on this plus new contact and fill in the details and choose vendor here and choose your vendors currency and fill in other details like address custom fields notes and hit save now I have my list of contacts my customers and vendors now I can go ahead and add items items are nothing but the products or the services which you sell or which you offer to add a new item click on this plus new item button and here you can type in the item name imagine if it's going to be a product here you can choose the income account and if you want to associate any taxes since in the beginning I have created two they are displayed in the drop down here I can select one I can enter the description here which will be displayed on the invoice you can enter the purchase information select the purchase account hit save to create a new item in a similar fashion you can create services since for services you don't need purchase information you can simply uncheck them and you can type in the service name you can choose your income account and tax in a similar fashion and enter the description based on your requirement and hit save if you are a person who would like to track inventory for the items first you have to go to the settings icon and click on more settings and here under item preferences you have to say yes I would like to track inventory and you can also select an email address to which you will be notified whenever a quantity of an item drops a certain level now when you go back to the item section when you create a new item you will have an option called track inventory for this item check the box and scroll down and you can add the opening stock and opening stock rate and the reorder point I'm going to say opening stock of 10 opening stock rate is 45,000 reorder point is 10 and I can choose the preferred vendor so that when I receive an email my vendor name will also be displayed so it'll be easy for me to contact that vendor and buy more products hit save if you wish to delete an item you can check the box here and you will have a bin icon and you can delete it if you want to make an adjustment for the inventory click on inventory adjustment and click on make an adjustment and choose the item enter the quantity on hand for example let's say 11 and the quality adjusted will be automatically updated choose the reason and enter the description if required and hit save now when you go to all items you will have the stock on hand here displaying the adjusted quantity let's go ahead and see how the entire inventory process works in Zoho books let's start by creating a purchase order so you can click on this plus button to create a purchase order so I'm going to choose the vendor here this purchase order number can be order generated or manually added each time provided you can have the prefix and the next number entered enter the reference number if you have any enter the date and choose the delivery date if you have any and now here you can simply type in to add a new shipment preference here you can select whether the item rates are inclusive or exclusive of tax choose your item and your account will be automatically updated and enter the quantity if you have any tax associated you can also select the tax you can add as many lines as you want in this purchase order enter the terms and conditions here and you can also configure them under settings if you modify the terms and conditions here you will have a small checkbox when you check them the changes will be taken into consideration for future transactions you can select the delivery to address whether your customers address or your organization's address enter the notes for your reference and choose the template templates are nothing but the layout of the purchase invoice that can again be customized under settings here I can choose one 
If I have many, I can choose from the options. Hit save to create a purchase order. So my purchase order is ready and I can download it, print it and I can also send an email across to my vendor. Click on email button and since I have not entered my vendor's email address, the send to box is not filled in automatically. If I have entered my vendor's address, email address, it will be automatically taken into consideration. Just to show you guys, I'm going to go back to contacts. I'm going to edit the contact and add his email address. Now, when I go to the purchase order, when I click on this email icon, I will have John's email address here and I can scroll down and I can view the content of the email. This you can retype, delete, add more and here you will find the purchase order attached as a PDF. If you want to attach additional files, you can also attach them here and click send to send an email across to your vendor. You can convert this purchase order to a bill directly. You can click on convert to bill and bills are nothing but the purchase invoices which you receive from your vendors. Since I'm converting from a purchase order, all the details are automatically filled in except the bill number. So when your vendor gives you, when you receive a purchase invoice from your vendor, you will have the invoice number which can be typed in here as a bill number. Again, if you want to edit or modify any data, you can also do that. If you want to add any additional files, let's say the whole invoice which you received from your vendor, you can also do that. And please note that the maximum file size is 5 MB. And hit save, your bills are created. So, you received a bill, but you have to record payment to say that you made a payment to your vendor. You can download a PDF or print this bill. Under more, you will have an option to make this bill recurring. Recurring is nothing but setting a time frame on based on the time frame you set, this bill with the same details will be created automatically by Zoho Books. To void, you can click on this void button. If you want to clone, use the clone button. To delete the bill, click on this delete option. To record payment, click on record payment button and enter the payments made and enter the enter or choose the payment date and here we have predefined payment mode if you want to add more click on configure payment mode and add new one choose the paid through here and if you have connected with the bank inside Zoho box your bank will also be displayed here enter the reference number notes and simply hit save to record a payment now you have created a purchase order and recorded a bill to ensure that you bought 10 Apple iPhone as products. When you go to reports, when you go to inventory report, when I go to inventory summary, I will have the list of products, what is the quantity in and what is the quantity out. Initially I had 11 products and now I have bought another 10, so it's 21 now. FIFO cost log tracking will tell me from which bill I bought the product. If I have adjusted, that will also be displayed here. For example, initially I had 10, I adjusted with 1 and I've added 10 more through the bill INV2156. Let's go back and sell these products. Go to sales and now let's start by creating an estimate. Click on this plus icon. In a similar fashion, you can fill in your customer's details. Again, this estimate number can be auto-generated or manually added each time. And since this customer is from Australia, here, the exchange rate column automatically populates. You can set the exchange rate inside the settings and if you want to modify at any point in time, you can do that using this exchange rate column. Here, you can choose the estimate date and if you want to set an expiry date, you can also do that. Here, you can add new salesperson associated to this estimate. Click on plus new manage salesperson and add a new one. And if you want to add any other salesperson, in a similar fashion, you can do that. And you can choose them from the drop down. Choose the item details here, and the quantity, and the rate, and the amount will be automatically displayed. Enter the discount here, flat or percentage. Here, choose the tax. 
If you want to add more line, click on add another line and choose the product or the service. You will find the sales tax percentage and the amount right here. If you have any shipping charges, add them here. And if you want to adjust on the amount, we can also do that. You rename this adjustment if you wish. Here you will find the invoices created with Australian dollars. And this currency symbol can be modified inside settings. Enter the customer notes and terms and conditions here. Again, this can be configured under settings so that you don't have to type in again and again. Your customer's email address will be automatically selected. If you wish to create retainer invoice for this estimate automatically, you can check the box. Retainer invoices are the document to record advance payments. For an example, let's say you run a project for $2,000, but you want $1,000 in advance, so you create a retainer invoice for $1,000. And finally, once your project is done, you have to create an invoice for $2,000 and apply the $1000 advance from the retainers to this invoice. So now the invoice will say the total is 2000 and payments made is 1000 and the balance due is 1000. Here you can select the percentage of the amount you want to collect in advance. The payment gateway will be automatically selected here. If you wish to attach any additional files, you can also attach them. The template, again the look and feel can be customized under settings and you can create as many templates as you want and you can select them here. You have two options. Save, this will save this estimate as a draft. This will not send this estimate across to your client. If you wish to save and send, click on save and send. And here you could see that customer's address is automatically selected. The content is automatically filled in. If you want to edit or modify them, you can also do that. You can see the estimate is attached as a PDF. Again, you can also attach additional files and hit send your estimate is out to your client and here on the top you will have more details of what's happening with this estimate and when it's created when it's been emailed and so on so at the bottom you will find the salesperson associated and the template you can convert this estimate to an invoice in a click of a button and apart from that you can also mark this estimate as accepted or declined or clone or delete based on your requirement when you mark an estimate as accepted once the transaction is created this estimate can be converted to a sales order directly or to an invoice so i'm going to click on convert to a sales order as you could see all the informations are automatically filled in if i need to modify or edit them i can do that so this time just to show you guys i'm going to save this as draft it will be in the draft format here you will have a label which denotes that send an email across to your client click on this email button and then send it across to your client. Now, this sales order can also be converted to an invoice in a click of a button. Again, you have other options of converting this sales order to a purchase order directly. So, I'm going to click on convert to invoice. Here, everything is automatically filled in again. Here, the payment gateway is automatically selected since it's an invoice. And check the box here if, if you allow your customers to make partial payments. In a click of a button, I can send it across to my client. So, my invoice is sent. Let's assume that your customer made an offline payment. So, click on this record payment button on the top. And again, enter the amount received. If there is any bank charges, type them here. Tax deducted, then check the box here and enter the amount withheld followed by the tax account. Choose the payment mode, deposit to, and enter the reference number, notes, and if you wish to send an email out to your client saying thank you for your payment, you can check the box and hit record payment. Now, your invoice will be marked as paid. When you scroll down, you will have the payment related information. When you click on this payment number, you will be directed to a payments made section. So payments made section holds all the payment receipts and you can view them, edit them, download them or email them across to your client. You can also delete them or attach any additional files if you want. Now, when I go back to my reports, when I go to inventory report, inventory summary, first thing you will find is the quantity out is 10, since I sold 10 products. When I go to fit for cost log tracking, you will have two categories, the product in and the product out. So how the product has been bought in and how it has been sold through an invoice and what is the quantity dispatched, which is 10. So you have reports which gives you metrics then and there whenever you want. You can select the item date range from and to and run the report.
This report can be downloaded in PDF or you can also print them. Apart from this inventory related report, you have business overview report, which gives you profit and loss, cash flow, balance sheet, and all these three reports can be customized using this customized report option. You can export the data in XLS or in PDF format. And when you go to Accountant tab, you will find General Ledgers, Journal Report, Trial Balance, and all these can be customized with the date range and can be exported based on your requirement. Account Transaction is a unique report where you can customize and select a specific account of yours and run the report. You will have the details specific to that account and you can export them if you wish. When you come back to the dashboard, dashboard gives you a quick insight of the business. So here you will find the cash flow, what is the outgoing and the incoming, and your income and expense graph, your top expenses in a pie chart, since I have not recorded any expenses, it is not displayed here, and I will have the list of projects in the banks which have connected and all those details here in the dashboard. Now let's see how the client portal feature in Zoho Books allows your customer to view the transactions and make a payment. As I said in the beginning, Client Portal is a separate workspace created specifically for your organization and it is specific to each and every client of yours. When you create a new customer, you will have a small checkbox here which says allow client portal for this customer. And when you hit save, an email will be sent across to your client and they have to confirm the email where they can create the password and they can log into their account. If you have already created the customers and if you wish to provide the client portal access, select the customer and click on more button and click on configure client portal. Check the box corresponding to the email and the name and hit save. An email will be triggered across your client. Let's go to the mailbox and see how this email invitation will look like. So when your client opens the email, they will have an accept invitation button and please note that their username will be the same as their email address. So when, it, when they click on accept invitation, they will be redirected to another page where they can create the password for their portal. Once your client logs into the portal, first thing will be a quick notification on the various transactions like the outstanding invoices, available credits, what is the last payment made and their contact information and your contact information and so. When they go to estimates, they will find the list of estimates which you created for them. They can click on it and they can view the estimate right here and they can also comment on the estimate which will be reflected just over that particular estimate transaction in your account. For an example, when your customer adds the comment inside your Zoho Books account, when you search for that specific estimate, just over the top of the estimate, you will find the comment made by your client. You can add a comment back and check the box here called display in client portal and add the comment. When your client logs into the client portal, he or she can view the comment which you made. Inside the invoices section, similar to estimates, they can view the invoices. They can view the payments which they made. They will have the receipt right here. Your customers can also generate customer statements. They can set the date range and they can download the statement of accounts or they can also print it. Let's see how to create a recurring invoice. You can either click on this plus new button and start creating a new recurring invoice transaction or if you have already created an invoice and you want to make that as a recurring invoice, go to that transaction and click on more and you will have an option called make recurring. Click on that. All the details which you entered in that invoice will be automatically fetched in except the profile name and how this recurring invoice should be repeated in the repeat every section. Give this profile a name. And choose how this invoice is going to be repeated. You can also select custom and enter the number of days or week or month. Select the ends on date or you can say it never expires. Scroll down 
and you will see all the details are automatically fetched in. Hit save to create a new recurring invoice. You will find how this invoice is recurring and what is the next invoice date and how many invoices are created and how many unpaid invoices are available. You can click on the show invoice history to find the list of invoices which are generated from this recurring invoice. Here, I would like to give you a quick notification on what Zoho subscription is. Zoho subscription is a powerful recurring billing and subscription management software. So, if your business is more towards subscription management, please take a look at Zoho subscriptions. Now let's go ahead and create recurring bills. Again, you can click on this plus button across the recurring bill section to create a new recurring bill or if you want to convert it from our existing bill you can go to that bill and click on make recurring again all the details will be automatically filled in enter the profile name and the repeat every section scroll down and save it and here you can click on to view the show bill history or if you want to create a new bill click on this create bill button click on more to stop or delete this recurring bill now, what happens if the goods are returned back, if I wanted to give a credit back to my customer? For an invoice, you can click on this more button and you will have an option called create credit note. Click on that and this will credit that invoice directly. All the details are automatically filled in and I can choose the credit note. I can enter the reference number based on my requirement and I can scroll down and simply hit save so that the credit note is automatically created and here you will find the invoice credited at and the invoice number at the bottom and here you will find the invoice as paid when you scroll down you will find what are the credits applied you can also create a new credit note click on this plus new credit note and choose the customer and enter the product scroll down and save it and if you wish to mark this as a refund, click on more and click on refund. And enter the refund amount and hit save. Now your credit notes are created and it's in the closed status. To apply your credit note to an invoice, you can click on this apply to invoice and choose the invoice and apply it. Similarly, you can create vendor credits directly using this plus new icon or from a bill. Again, this vendor credit can be recorded as a refund or you can apply to the bills which you recorded inside the bill section. Let's go ahead and see how you can manage to record your expenses and recurring expenses and how you can bill your customer for the expenses which you created. You can click on this plus new icon to add a new expense. You can add a new account if you wish or you can choose from the existing account. Choose how you paid for this expense. And here you can enter the amount. Select the taxes and if tax is applied, you can say whether this amount is inclusive or exclusive of the tax. Choose the vendor if, if required. Enter the reference number and notes for your internal reference. And if you have an expense receipt with you and if you want to attach them, you can do them using this option. You can select the customer and if this is an expense, incurred on behalf of the customer and if you want to charge him back for the expenses which you incurred then you can select the box called billable and save this expense your expense is recorded and you will find the preview of the file which you uploaded here you can convert this expense to a bill as if selected billable while creating the expense and here you could see the customer name and the expense which I've added is automatically popped up and selected here or if I'm going to create an invoice for a customer who has unbilled expenses, here you will find a quick notification and you can click on that and you can add those expenses. If you have incurred an expense on behalf of the customer and if you want to bill them, you can do them with an ease in Zoho Books. Now let's see how to create a recurring expense. 
You can either click on this plus new recurring expense button and fill in all the details from the beginning or if you have an existing expense you can click on more button in a similar fashion and make this as recurring again enter the profile name and repeat every section that will set this expense to be recurring. Now let's see how retainer invoices work inside Zoho Books. That is how to receive advance payment and how to apply to an invoice. So now I'm going to create a new estimate. And I'm going to say I receive 40% of the amount in advance. I'm going to hit save and send. So when my client views that in the client portal, he will find the estimate in the open status. When your customer clicks on this accept button, since I've requested Zoho Books to create a retainer invoice automatically with 40% of the total, a retainer invoice is automatically created. Your customers can click on pay now button to directly pay for this retainer invoice online or they can pay later. When they visit the invoices tab, they will find the retainer invoice popped up. They can click on pay now. If you have connected with PayPal, your customers will be taken to the PayPal's website and they can make a payment. They can forward, download or print this retainer invoice. When you go to Zoho Books, when you go to retainer invoices section, you will find the retainer invoices automatically created and this eye icon shows that this transaction is viewed in the client portal. So by this, you will know what are the transactions my client viewed in the client portal and what not. Again, if this is going to be an offline payment, you can click on record payment and you can record the payment. Now, you can apply this retainer payment to the invoice. Since I don't have any invoices for this customer, let's go ahead and create an invoice for that estimate. So I'm going to convert this to an invoice. And while converting an estimate to an invoice, I can say that I need customer notes, terms and condition and address to carry over from an estimate to the invoice. So everything is automatically selected. This time I'm going to save as draft. Now on the top, I will find the retainers available. Since I've received advance payment, I can click here and associate that retainer payment to this invoice. Now this invoice will be shown as partially paid and at the bottom you will find the payment receipt section and on the top you will have the details. And when you go to the retainer invoices section you will find that retainer is in the drawn status which means this is completely applied to an invoice. So this is the entire process on how to record advance payment and how you can apply to an invoice. With this, I pretty much covered all the transactions which you can create with Zoho Books. Zoho Books is a double entry accounting system and you will have all your journals automatically posted. If you wish to post a manual journal, go to Accountant tab and click on Manual Journals. Click on plus new journal and enter the reference number and choose the from account choose the tax if necessary and enter the debits or credits and similarly you can choose the other account and enter the debits or credits accordingly and scroll down and hit save to post this journal. Since Zoho Books helps you to manage multiple currency at times you might want to adjust the exchange rate on a specific date. So click on base currency adjustment and click on make an adjustment and select the currency and the date of adjustment and change it. Enter the notes, hit continue. So here you will find relevant details and you can select and you can make an adjustment. If you wish to lock previous transactions, let's say if you have recorded a few transactions for the last month and you want to lock those transactions so that you will not be allowed to edit or modify any data. If you want to lock transactions, click on transaction locking and enable the transaction locking and choose the date. 
enter the reason and save it. Now, transactions proceeding to the lock date cannot be edited or modified. If you was to unlock those transactions, you can come here and uncheck it and enter the reason and simply save it. Now let's see how you can connect with your bank and reconcile your bank transactions. Go to banking section and click on add bank or credit card. Zoho Books is integrated with 5000 banks across the world. Type in your bank or credit card name and choose them. Enter the credentials. Here, choose your account and enter the download transaction history from. Please note, Zoho Books can fetch your past 90 days transactions. So, Zoho Books is connected with your bank and you will find the list of transactions here, like the withdrawals and the deposits. Let's say you, you received an invoice for 4000 rupees and you will have the relevant transaction on the right side. And if you have not created any transaction, you can still categorize them using these options on the right side. You can add more transactions, manually add money in and money out transactions based on your requirement. You can click on this gear icon to update your bank credentials, refresh the feeds or import your bank statements. So since Zoho Book can connect with your bank to fetch the last or the previous 90 days transaction, and if you wish to fetch the, the other transactions, you can export your bank statement and you can import them here. Apart from that, you can reconcile the bank account, you can deactivate feeds, you can mark as inactive or if you have imported a statement and if you want to undo them, you can also do that here. To reconcile your bank account, click on reconciliation history. Select reconcile account, enter the closing balance. Click start reconciliation. You will find the list of transactions which you have added. Once categorized, they will be displayed here. Or if you wish, you can also add a new transaction here. And once done, you can click on reconcile to reconcile them. When you enter into the banking section, you will find your bank account connected with and the number of transactions which need to be categorized or matched. What do you mean by matching or categorizing the transaction? Let's say you, you have created an invoice for 100 rupees and you have sent it across to your client. Your client made a payment for that invoice. So finally, the amount got deposited into your bank account. So there is a deposit of 100 rupees into your bank account. When you click on the deposit, Zoho Books will show you the possible matching transaction on the right side. When you check the box, you can match them. Categorization. If you wish to categorize them manually, click on Categorize Manually and choose the category. Choose from the drop down and fill in other details and save them. This is called categorization. Once you match the transaction, you will find them in the Zoho Books transaction list. You can unmatch them or edit or modify them based on your requirement. Now, if your bank account is not displayed here from the drop down, you can still manually fetch your bank statements and import them into Zoho Box and still manage them. Click on enter your account manually, fill in the details and hit save. Now, you can click on import statement and import your bank statement and once it is imported, it will be showed as uncategorized transactions. You can click on those transactions and categorize them. Now, let's talk about timesheets. Zoho Books allows you to create a project. Under a project, you will be allowed to create different tasks and associate different users and you can manage the number of hours your employee worked on a specific task. And finally, you can build your customers. So, I'm going to click on this plus new project button and enter the project name. Choose the customer for whom I'm working and select the billing method. Fixed cost for project, enter the total project cost here. If it is based on project hours, enter the rate per hour here. If it is based on task hours, Click on based on task hours and add the task details. 
if it is based on star force you can add different users you can click on invite user and enter their email address name and then the role you would like to impose on them I will talk about the roles a little later and hit send an invitation will be sent across to them they have to accept the user invitation and moving forward you can add them here you can check the box here and choose the budget type scroll down and hit save now your project is ready inside the project tab you will find the log dars billable hours bill dars and unbill dars and a quick graph to notify that and on the timesheets tab you will find the list of timesheet recorded list of expenses recorded and the invoice generated for our project if you wish to record advance payment click on create retainer invoice this time i'm going to record as draft and i'm going to record a payment for this retainer invoice to ensure that my customer made an advance payment when i go back to timesheets when i go to that project now i can record time and bill my customers i can click on log time and i can choose the task the number of hours worked on that task and whether it's been it's billable or not and here i can select the user and i can hit save or alternatively when i click on log time i can click on the start timer button so the timer will be started and here you will be notified on the timer once you've done with the project you can click on the stop button to stop when you go to all timesheets section you will find the list of timesheets which you created and you can also have a calendar view if you are a person who works for the entire week and records the time at the weekend you can click on weekly log and choose the project choose the task and enter the number of hours worked on each and every day and simply hit save once i recorded the time I can click on new transaction and I can click on create an invoice. Here I can say how I would like to display the details. And if I have created any expenses and bill ones, if I wish to add them, I can check the box here and the retainers can also be applied. Invoice will be created automatically. since i have received an advance payment that advance payment is automatically recorded to this invoice and this invoice shows the payment made the advance payment and then the balance due so my client can pay the balance due amount but this i gave you a general overview on the basic features and functionalities available in zoho books now let's talk about settings if you wish to create a new organization under your account click on your organization name and click on manage organization and click on this new organization and fill in all the other details once done you will be directed to that organization and when you click on the organization name this time you will find the two organization name displayed here You can select the organization name and switch back to the organization. If you would like to select a specific organization as default so that when you log in that organization will be popping up. Click on manage organization and mark this as default. Now let's go to settings. These are quick setting options and most settings covers all of them. Let's start with organization profile. Organization profile is where you can upload your business logo and fill in other informations regarding your organization. Your fiscal year, tax basis and the date format, the company ID or the tax ID or add any other additional information can be added here. I'm going to upload my business logo. Scroll down and save it. When I go back and view my transaction, I will find the logo automatically posted in the transactions. 
Since we have configured the opening balance, let's go to users. Users are nothing but your employees, admin or other managers to whom you are providing access to your data. Click on roles and click on new role and enter the role name. Check the box to provide access and uncheck them to deny access. For an example, if I've unchecked the delete box corresponding to customer, when I apply this role to a person, he will not be allowed to delete a customer, but he can delete a vendor. Similarly, if I'm going to uncheck the box here, then he will never be able to view the banking tab at all. So to provide access, check the box. To deny access, uncheck them. So you can create as many roles in different patterns and hit save. Now, when you invite your user, you can choose that role and hit send. An invitation will be sent across to your user and they have to accept the invitation and moving forward, bounded by the rules which you provided, they can access your data preferences. Here, you can check the box of the modules which you require and how do you give discounts and other basic information. Here in the organization address format and customer address format, I can define how my address and my customer's address should look like in the invoice. So I've selected the street address first, the second line, city, state, postal code, and so on and so. I can change or align them. I can also add additional information. This is applicable to customer's address format as well. Once done, I can save it. Contacts custom field can be added here. You can add up to 10 and you can save it. Now, when you go back to the customer, when you create a contact under the custom field section, you will have that custom field. You can type in the value. Items. If you wish to add price list, you can check the box here and simply save it. Now, inside the items section, you will have price lists and you can create different price lists based on your requirement. Portal settings can be configured here. If you wish to allow your customer to view the list of projects and timesheets which you created, check the box and simply hit save. Now, when your client enters the client portal, he will have the projects tab where they can find the list of projects, list of tasks, timesheets and comments added to that particular project. Estimate preferences. Select yes, save and send to automatically convert an accepted estimate to an invoice and to send across to your client. So when your customer accepts an estimate in the client portal, an invoice will be automatically created and will be sent across to your client. If you want the estimate to automatically convert to an invoice but not to send across to your client, you can select save as draft. If you don't want that to perform, then you can say no. Here you can add estimate custom fields, add terms and conditions and customer notes based on your requirement. Similarly, for sales orders, you can create customer notes, terms and conditions and custom fields. And for invoices and for credit notes and for purchase orders. Inside expense preference, you can select the mileage rates which means Zoho Books allows you to create mileage expenses as well. So here you can select the start date and you can enter the mileage rate. You can add additional mileage rates if you wish. If you want to delete, you can delete them. You can say whether it's a mile or kilometer and save it. To add custom fields for the expenses, click on custom fields and add a new custom field based on your requirement. Now. When you go back to the expenses section, when you click on this drop down arrow right next to the new expense, you will have record mileage. So here you can simply type in the number of kilometers you traveled and the amount will be calculated. All you have to do is select the customer if you want to bill him. If it's an organization expense, you can save it simply to record an expense. Delivery note and packing slip settings can be configured here. Currencies is where you set the exchange rate between your currency and your customer's currency. So when you select your country, your currency will be automatically selected.
Here you can set the exchange rate. Click on view exchange rate and click on add an exchange rate. Select the date and enter the exchange rate and simply save it. Similarly, you can configure other currency exchange rates as well. And if you want to import data, you can click on this gear icon and import the exchange rate. Taxes, where you can create individual and group taxes. To create a group tax, click on this plus new tax group and select the taxes and give this tax group a name. Templates is where you can customize the look and feel of the transactions. For an example, I'm going to add a new template for invoices. We have close to 10 professional templates. You can place your mouse over a specific template of your choice and click on use this. Give this template a new name and choose the paper size here and choose the PDF font which you will be using in this template. And if you wish to show your organization logo, check the box, otherwise uncheck them. If you want to add attention content, you can also add them. Here you will find the attention content. If you wish to use payment tub, check the box here and enter the name and the amount enclosed and the position. You can upload a background image here. You can choose the image position. Here you can select the background color. For example, if I'm going to change it, the background color will be automatically changed. I can choose the label color, font color, font size, customer name, font color, font size, company name, and the company name's font size, and whether I need phone and fax, and how I want to display them. Inside the header and document information, you can add header images. And if you want to add background image, you can also customize the header content. Here you will find the header content. And apply this, if you want to apply this to first page only, then you can also check the box here. Enter the document title. For example, if you want to change the document title from invoice, you can simply edit and change them and this will be automatically reflected. Again, you can choose the document title font size and select the document title color. And the field name, for example, here, if I'm a service-based business, I don't want item and description to be displayed, but instead, I want it to be displayed as services. I can rename them inside the item table. So here, I can simply remove the item and type in services and scroll down. When I hit preview, you will have the services and description there. Again, inside the layout, you can customize the background color, font size, table border color, and so on. So, in the total section, again, you can customize the font, font size of total, balanced view, background color, and all the other information. In the photo section, you can add your bank details. At times, I might ask my customer to pay to my bank directly. At that point in time, I can add my bank details. I can type in the label, the, nothing but the display name for terms and conditions and the font size. If I need an authorized signature, check the box and I can, up, I can choose the image to upload them here. Here I have the authorized signature. I can customize the footer content. So by this way, I can customize my template from the top to the bottom. If I would like to select a specific template as default, you can mark them as well. Email templates are nothing but the email content whenever you send an invoice or an estimate or any transaction out. So click on show mail content and customize this content based on your requirement. You can also insert different placeholders. Here in the from field, you can select a email address from which you want your invoices to be sent. If you want to add additional email address, go to organization profile and configure email and add more. If you want to copy yourself, check the box here and you can give this template a new name if you wish so and save it. Similarly, you can create other email templates. Reminders can be set. So click on this plus new reminder to add a new one. Give this reminder a name and whom to remind. You or your customer or both. The number of days before or after the due date. So based on that, 
an email with this content will be sent across. You can turn on or off a reminder based on your requirement. Automation allows you to create a set of rules for modules of Zoho Books based on which appropriate action would be performed. A good example would be case where an email is sent automatically to the team member when an estimate for goods worth over $1000 gets accepted by the client. Here you can set up the workflow rules. Click on this plus new workflow rule and give this role a name and select the module and enter the description and click next and choose the trigger whether it's event based or date based. If date based, enter the date of execution before or after the estimate date or the expiry date or the created date. Select them from the drop down. You can select the execution time and the execution cycle from the drop downs. Event based, then you can say when the estimate is created or edited. If edited, you can say when the field is updated or when a selected field is updated. You can select the estimate. How do you want to execute this workflow? Every time or just once? You can select them here. Click next. Here you can filter the triggers when an estimate number is 1. I need this criteria. I can also add more criteria and click next to proceed. Now actions. Whether email alerts or any field update or webhooks, select them. Add new email alert. You can customize the email alert here. If it's a field update, then you have to customize the field update here. So you can do that in the email alerts field update section in the left. And similarly for webhooks. And would you like to add time based actions? Then you can click on add new time based action. And here you can enter the execution time, the days or hours after rule trigger date or an estimate date or an expiry date. You can choose that from the drop down. And hit save to create a workflow. Integrations. Here you can configure online payment gateway. Under Zoho apps, you can connect with other Zoho applications. With this, I gave you a complete picture of Zoho Books. And if you have any questions and if you have any doubt in Zoho Books, you can refer our help document. Click on help and support. Click on use a guide. A help document which will give you a step by step walkthrough on each and every feature. If you want to contact support, click on contact support and simply type in your details, enter the contact number, send it across to us and we will help you on your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at support at the rate zohobooks.com for any further assistance. Thank you so much.